All right, let's get into our show here. Um, got some requests. Mike, you got to do a giveaway. So let's do a giveaway. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, there's a local band over here in Tampa called Mr. Bella. And uh, I know the singer Anne Marie, she's really chill. So here's what we'll do. Go like their uh, the band's Facebook page. And uh, I'll have her in about a week or so. Uh, pick somebody and we'll send them this. It's a uh, Empire event with the uh, mirrored lens. I was going to use this mask, but I've already got like five of them. So we'll give one of them away. I'll give this to her next time I see her and uh, tell her to pick it out. Uh, pick someone who uh, like her fan page and we'll ship it out to them with uh, some Mr. Bell CDs. And let's get into something else paintball related now. Greg Hastings has finally come out with the uh, the R7 camera. So you're seeing tons of pros using this out there on the field. And um, it came out with a genius mount for this thing. <laughs> a genius mount. Mounts right on the feed neck of a lot of guns. And I'll, let me go get my, my axe here. And I'll show you basically... Um, what I had to do here was basically I just had to spread it apart just a little bit, uh, the mount, to fit over the clamp, and then it slipped right over, it locks right into the bottom. Um, I know with a lot of guns, uh, what they're doing is they just have to, um, so a lot of them you just have to remove the collar, your, your collar, and then it, it locks over the top of it. Uh, I know it fits most of the guns that are on the market, there's some that it doesn't. Um, but I'm sure as, uh, as they go along, they're going to come out with more and more mounts for it. But absolutely genius mount. Let me show it to you. Um, so basically, you've got this piece right here that um, holds the camera. And then you've got this piece here, which basically serves as the ring for the, uh, for the camera mount. So it's, or for the, uh, for the feed neck. It's, it's just a genius design. And you can see the quality is phenomenal. Uh, a lot of the pro players actually use it on the, on the field, which, you know, if it's big and bulky, they're not going to use it on the field. If it affects their performance, they're not going to use it on the field. And you see teams all over the place are using it on the field with great results, both in the PSP and in the NPPL. And uh, it's just really cool that finally we've got something specifically designed uh, for paintball. I've been saying for years to come out with something maybe for a Picatinny mount, uh, Picatinny camera mount, but no one was smart enough to think of that. But, you know, luckily, uh, you know, Greg Hastings finally came out with a really good one. I also know I believe there's a, a prototype stiffy barrel kit that's going to mount to the barrel and then uh, the camera's going to mount you know almost directly to the it mounts directly to the barrel but it's I, I've seen some pictures of it I know it's not out yet but this right here with the feed neck works really good. There's quite a few threads on Tech B on will it fit will it not fit but uh, you know I've got it on mine right now and we will be uh, starting to film with this and seeing how it works. So far I love the way it feels. It feels great you know in the hands I mean it's very, very little weight on the front of the gun. You barely know that it's there. I mean, probably once you have a full hopper, you know, you're going to barely even feel that uh, on the front of the gun. I think it's just a genius. Great job. You know, absolute great job uh, by Greg Hastings to come up with that. It's really cool. Uh, next thing, a lot of people have been asking me to do a uh, Z2 review, uh, Prophecy Z2. Now, probably next to the Pinocchio, the Z2 is probably, probably my second favorite loader. I, I, I like it. It works really good. Probably my biggest complaint I had about it with the stock uh, with the stock speed feed was it opening up when I was out there playing. I mean, if you watch a lot of snake players that are using the Z2, they dive into the snake, they run out of paint because when they dive in, this thing flips open. So um, the stock uh, the stock speed feed. Which let me go get it really quick. The stock speed feed opened up way too easy for me. Um, that, that was probably my biggest complaint about it was constantly emptying my loader when I dove into the snake. And um, that, that was definitely a really big problem that I had with it. But Virtue's come out with their new crown. And uh, you can definitely feel that it's on there a lot tighter. Um, but I still would like to see uh, you know something where it snaps into place so that when you dive into the snake it doesn't come up. It's it's something I've never really have with my you know any problems that I have with my Pinocchio hopper. And um, on the same note of speed feeds, if you like your uh, if you like a Halo or Pinocchio hoppers, go check out Paintball Gateway. They've got actually a metal ring that fits the Exalt speed feed. It works great, but um, definitely uh, this one definitely holds on there a lot tighter than the stock feed neck does. But overall, it's been pretty it's been pretty nice. So probably three to five cases is about what I think I'm getting out of the battery life. Um, pretty easy, you know, on off switch there. Let's go ahead and weigh it really quick. 
we know probably the lightest load is going to be the Pinocchio, which weighs in at about a pound even. So you can see that, you know, it does have batteries in it. It's empty. Let's go ahead and weigh it really fast. So it, this one, uh, the Z2 weighs in at one pound, three ounces. Holds a little bit more than the rotor. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a nice loader. I, I like that it sits really low on the gun. It's easy to snap shoot with. Um, didn't, haven't really had any jams with it. I've had, you know, in terms of where I've had to, you know, physically spin it with the, uh, the rip drive. Um, I have had a couple times where I felt it kind of pulse, but then it, it self clears itself. But overall, it's been really good. And it's, it's definitely a nice, a nice loader if you're looking for something lower uh, to, to snap shoot with. So, that, you know, definitely a good job by Empire on the Z2. And that's why you've been seeing it in some of the videos. So I, I like to change it up. Um, let's see what else we got. Also, uh, you guys that are going to Living Legends, I've got a Living Legends 5 uh, jersey design. And I'll go ahead and put the pictures up here really quick. But I've got one designed both for the Horde and for the New Empire. So uh, you got a red, a red crest on your chest if you're a Horde. You've got a blue crest on your chest if you're Empire. And um, I'll put the contact information in the video to uh, to uh, order it directly from Animal. So I think it's going to be like maybe 65 bucks a jersey or something like that. So if you want to get a jersey for Living Legends 5, um, it's a real simple, nice, I, I really like the way the jerseys came out. It came out pretty good. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about. Um, I, I remember just kind of looking through old emails and something I didn't really address before. And, and I kind of wanted to wait to see what the news was going to be before I even made a video on it. But I remember, you know, back a few months ago, people always thought, you know, NPPL, PSP merger, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I never saw that going to happen. I didn't, I didn't think that was ever going to happen. So you got to remember two completely different corporate structures. You got the PSP, which is owned, I think, like 90% by Dave Dehan, Dave Youngblood of Die, And then you've got the NPPL, which is broken up into, I believe, 10 pro teams that paid $10,000 each to own it. So obviously, you've got a you know, huge, huge swing in regards to ownership, shares, corporate structure, this, that, and the other. So I will tell you this, is that... As a consumer, okay, now I understand there's a lot of companies out there that had a vested interest in them uh, consolidating or getting rid of one of them or whatever. As a consumer, anytime you lose a choice, it's bad, okay? <laughs> anytime you lose a choice, okay? When you can walk up to a place and say, I can do this or I can do this, and then this gets eliminated and all you have is this to choose for, that's, you know, choose from, that's bad. Um, you know, th there's a lot of politics, there's a lot of drama at the tournament level i mean it's 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 definitely really ugly and i think that having both leagues is very beneficial not just to the tournament side of paintball but i, I think it's very beneficial just for the industry as a whole because if there was only one league we would all be subject to whatever rules that they decided they wanted to come up with, okay? If they wanted to have a potato sack race before the game started, we would all have to do that, okay? If, if you got into an argument or your team got into an argument and, and uh, you know, you got frustrated with whatever happened, bad call or politics or whatever was that really pissed you off, and you would know where else to go, okay? You had nowhere else to go if there was only one league, you know? They go on post on PB Nation, blah, 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 blah. I didn't like the way this happened. Chris Rell decides, oh, you know, I'm just going to ban you from tournaments forever. Where would you go? Okay, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Okay, well, at least now, now you've got the choice of two leagues. Okay, and if you're a tournament player and, and you, you know, a tournament team, being able to choose between two major leagues is, is a good thing. Okay, so if, if the MPPL really pisses you off, you get frustrated with the MPPL and you don't think things are going good there, you can go play the PSP. If the PSP really pisses you off and, and you're not liking what's going on there, you can go over and play the MPPL. Okay, so you've got two major tournament leagues. And as a consumer, you can choose from both of them. Now, I understand as, you know, as corporations and the, the, the powers that be in paintball, they really would want one consolidated league. Me as a consumer, I think it's a terrible idea. Absolutely terrible idea. Um, I think you'd be giving, uh, putting too much power into the hands of one body. And I think, you know, if, if you got into it with these people for whatever reason, you'd have nowhere else to hide. Nowhere else to hide and nowhere else to go. So... You got to think about that kind of stuff, and, and it's very important as a consumer. You know, it was, oh, they should just they should just merge for the betterment of paintball. Bullshit, okay? Bullshit. The the PSP and the MPPL are there to promote their business, okay? It's not their job to promote you know paintball as a whole. And they're there to promote their business. The job of promoting paintball falls with the players, not with the corporations, okay? It's not. Key's job. It's not 
G.I. Milsom's job. It's not Vulcan's job, okay? It's not Tipman's job. It's not the NCPA's job, and it's not the, the PSP, and it's not the NPPL's job to promote paintball. They're there to promote their business. The promoting of paintball comes to you, okay? When you're sitting with your friends on you know, a Friday night, and they're asking what you're going to do next weekend or, or the weekend coming up or tomorrow, you know, there, there's nobody from the NPPL or from the PSP that's going to say, hey, come on over here and play, you know? And you can also tell, you can also tell they're not interested in really promoting it, uh, promoting paintball as a whole anyway, okay? If you go to most of those tournaments, how much local field and store representation do you see at those events? Not a lot. Okay, so, you know, once they pack up their circus and they leave, you know, there's really not much left there. So there's not really a, a resonating of, of a business that percolates out to the local fields and stores. It, it doesn't really happen. It kind of did a few years ago, but, um, you know, when the stores in the fields had the money to pay the thousands of dollars it cost to have a booth there. But, um, you know, that, that's not really happening anymore. But if you go, go, to the, go to any PSP and go to any MPPL and see if there's any really any local fields or stores there, it's usually, usually you don't see any. So, the, you, know, you, you know, they're there to promote their business. The, the job of promoting paintball comes down to you. So if you think, oh, they should just merge for the betterment of paintball, it's going to be better for the sport. I think that's bullshit altogether. I think that's absolute nonsense. So, um, you know, you, you give these people, the only thing right now that's really keeping the MPPL in check and the only thing that's keeping the PSP in check is the fact that they've got the, each other to compete with, okay? They, and the MPPL knows if they pull too much nonsense, people are going to move over to the PSP. And if the PSP knows they're going to pull, you know, they pull too much nonsense, people are going to go over to the MPPL. So only affects a very small percentage of players, but their rules and their standards and their their you know their policies have a tendency to percolate down through all the other local tournaments and stuff like that. So consolidation of the leagues is a horrible idea, horrible horrible idea. And and you can even see it here recently with the uh, you know with with the, with the issues of you know you got Vulcan Gino. I mean. You, you know the 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 one of the biggest names inside of paintball. You know you're not seeing Vulcan paint now at the at the PSP events. Well, where did he go? He went to the to the MPPL. So you know it, if it was one consolidated league, you know, would Vulcan have representation there? You know, no, probably not. So anytime you anytime you eliminate all choices, give somebody a monopoly, and you know that always ends up being bad. <laughs> so that, that's my opinion of it. But above me on that, uh, Living Legends coming right around the corner. Um, and uh, we're going to start getting some more uh, gameplay videos up here pretty soon. And that's about it. So uh, go check out uh, Mr. Bell on Facebook, like their page, and uh, we'll uh, ship out an Empire Mass to somebody probably in the next week or so. Thanks for tuning in.